The sound of driving on freshly laid pavement was music to drivers' ears on the Palisades Parkway today. The New York roads are great. It's New Jersey, man. It always is. This side has just been a disaster. It's too much pajo. It's a, what's about all time? It's definitely good. It's a long time coming? Yeah. Drivers say all the potholes cost them money. The hood on the engine fell off. I had flat tires. I mean, it's been awful. It's really nice to see that they're actually putting down pavement that doesn't destroy my car. I put like $500 worth of repairs into this car this winter. I changed like three types of tires before the pothole and before. You had to replace three tires? Three tires. Taxi driver Juan Rodriguez says he had to fork over $300 before he could get back to business. But he says he's seen worse. Have a lot of problems in accidents because sometimes people try to uh, abort the pothole and they be on top of the drivers. And so they swerve to avoid it and crash? Yes, but thank God. Uh, it was about time. Pothole repair crews were out dozens of times this winter to try and keep up. This used to be the most beautiful parkway, always took it. We go up to uh, up to Route 6 up there. And now? And now I've been complaining each time we've been going uh, up to my sister's uh, about the bumpy road. It's supposed to cost $11 million to repave 11 miles of parkway. The whole thing is supposed to be done by the end of this year. The New Jersey Department of Transportation is footing the entire bill, even though this roadway is owned and maintained by the Palisades Interstate Park Commission. When announcing the start of the project on their website, the DOT's acting commissioner explained that the DOT is advancing the project because of the roadway's state of disrepair, stating, quote, it's been nearly 20 years since it was last repaved, and the road is riddled with potholes and temporary patches. The severity of this past winter left the parkway in an unacceptable condition, which is why NJDOT took on this project with such an aggressive schedule. Drivers should be advised that the construction could result in lane closures at night and during the day in between between the morning and evening rush. Right now, the DOT says construction will only be done on weekdays. This week, the DOT says most work is being done at night. On the Palisades Parkway, I'm Christy Duffy for NJTV News.